This showed up today. You know that says Halloween. I do want to switch to water base, but I still have half a can of the barge thinner. And you're really not supposed to mix the different brands. Or I didn't want to risk it and ruin all my glue. Costume will involve some EVA parts. So I'll probably have to get some more mats. EVA foam mats. Super glue. Flashing LED light. And I got some computer guts from work. All right, started work on the costume slash props, working on part number one. Started with a paper template to a poster board template to cutting out my foam. Gonna glue them together, testing some spandex, specifically testing the adhesion of spandex to foam with hot glue. And it works. Then I got my heat gun to help bend and seal the foam. Fabrication of part one done. The second part's going slower than I thought it would, but it's getting there. It's the basic shape and I'll be adding stuff onto it. So I'm gonna glue it up. Some of the delay was bending these parts equally and then uh, cutting things to fit trial and error. I'm building parts of this costume off of another guy's schematics. And I'm working on this little uh, angly bit. So I'm just making a paper template. And then I can cut it out of my PVC beadboard scraps. Then I'll have to figure out this part. If I care about that part. And for the webbing, I sacrificed a laptop messenger bag. Stalled out on this part. It's got these brackets cut, shaped, drilled. My rivets are a little too short so i'm gonna see if i can get longer ones tomorrow i am definitely not a skilled drafter i'm just making it up as i go i'll be able to get two templates out of that i'll transfer this into the two templates tomorrow these are some other parts i got marked up i had these discs laying around from some other project i don't don't remember what <laughs> This is probably the spoiler, but it's going to be hard to hide from this point out anyway. I'm working on some other parts, but I decided I better start gluing up the main block and not get too far ahead of myself. To keep the contact cement away from each other until I am aligned and to get good alignment, I'm using uh, shish kebab skewers and reference marks and arrows. And since there's no way I'm going to get any sophisticated electronics into this, this year anyway, I'm making it accessible for future upgrades. It's three o'clock. What day is it? Thursday? I think it's Thursday. Shop is a mess. Mess. I gotta do a quick pickup in this joint. Hey, there's still stuff in here. Hmm. Mm. This thing, and I'm still struggling on this bit. I was in the zone yesterday, so I worked all night. I worked until 9 a.m. this morning, actually. And then I took like a five-hour nap-ish sleep. I still have a couple large fabrication pieces, and then there's still details. You could probably get lost in the minutia of details for months. Which, we don't have that much time. I need to finish fabricating this 
booster piece, which the plans were really confusing and I really don't have great pictures, so I'm kind of free balling this one. It's been giving me some trouble. I gotta figure out how far offset it is. Get it done, get these things in place. I have all the major components fabricated, just finished the gun mount box. Everything's still separate, so I can uh, plasti dip before I glue to the base and then spray again. Before I get all uh, carried away with the minutia, I need to work on the the gun. Ah, looks pretty good though. It's a good start. Keeps the structure nice and solid. Pipes are still running long. I can see it. Pew, pew. Starting out the day by cleaning up the shop a bit. It's a freaking disaster. It's apparent that I need to get that electrical cord reel sooner than later, because this is a mess. Number one fabrication hurdle today was the hanger for the gun onto the pack. And there's no real clear pictures of it. I think they just did it with some kind of metal brackets. So I made my own aluminum screws sprinkler pipe to space it out when i built this there is a piece of plywood inside same with this because i knew the weight would pull this so there's a long five inch screw that goes through this piece into this piece it locks them together after i had that part made i traced it onto some plywood chiseled out the recess and added the aluminum rails and then I had to dig a trench for the heads of the screws. I only have one screw in this. So it can be swiveled for positioning, but it basically just slides on like a dovetail. Can't do it with one hand. There we go, slides right on there. One screw onto the gun so that I can change the uh, swivel angle. On to the next challenge, mounting this to the Alice frame. If I had known how I was gonna deal with this to begin with, I could have planned a little better. Uh, I think the best idea is two mounting points on the center rail and just cut slots so that inevitably when I mount it too low or high, I have the adjustability. As for planning, ideally, I would have had wood blocking in the pack as an anchor. But I have access to this, and this hole comes up right in between the mechanics, buried down deep. So for the hidden, I'm going to use a piece of plywood with a T-nut, glue it in there, done. For the one you can barely kind of see, I'm going to hide the T-nut inside of a dowel. Look like it belongs. All right, you can barely see it, but even when you can, it looks like it belongs. And the slots work. I'm not gonna add washers. Adjustable. Paint. All right, where am I at? I got the PVC parts of this in primer and paint. I can start fabricating all the diddly bits. This has Plasti Dip. I'll throw the coat of black paint on that same time that I do the wand. Then, of course, assembly and the stickers. Uh, I need to make some elbows. Straps for the Alice frame are cut. PVC parts for the wand. Alice frame is in stages of paint. Then I gotta make my to-do list because I still have a lot to do. 
and my brain's bouncing between them all. I'm on to all the little fiddly bits, little knobs and doodads, making sure that I have anything glued in place or drilled before I spray this with black paint. And while this is in paint, I'll be fabbing on the Neutron wand, the gun, whatever the hell that thing's called. My collection of bits, elbow pads, pads for the uh, Alice frame, which I still have to assemble. I can assemble the frame while stuff's in paint as well. And over here, painting diddly little bits. Made these elbows out of uh, pecs. Little bolts and knobs out of dowels. 6.30 in the morning. I worked all night. Again. I'm a glutton for punishment. Here's all my bits and bobs. Ready to go for assembly. Alice pack. Painted. Ready for assembly. Proton pack. In its coat of black. Ready for assembly. Gun. Wand. Whatever the hell it is. Drying. I don't want to say assembly is going to be straightforward because that will just bite me in the ass. But I got a bunch of scrap wire to make it easy. Some paint if I need to touch up. Straps are going to be attached with screws and rivets. PVC backing if I run into issues. Sprinkler pipe at the ready. Then I still have to make uh, the main accessory for the warden's costume. So, it's going to be a short nap. Been putting finishing touches on the Proton Pack. Yesterday I cranked away on all the stickers, or the decals, applying them with barge contact cement. Today I swapped out the temporary green wires for blue wires, because I didn't have blue wire at the time. And I was able to spray paint it, but it took a day and a half to not be tacky. Added this bolt, added this little nub, Ooh, but it flashes red. Cleaned up my little flashing LED solution for the inside of the proton pack to shine through the cyclotron. It's just a $3 Harbor Freight hazard light. And I designed that light to be part of that uh, plug, tapered plug, two layer plug, whatever you want to call it. Turn it on and off from here, nice. Then I had this little EL wire kit, beginner's kit, test kit that I won from Instructables about two years ago. So it's a little battery pack and then it splits off to five different colors. So I fished two of those up through the PVC, out the side of the PVC to wrap around the end of the gun. It's a white and an orange. And then the other three I bundled together cut out these vents pink blue green then I just drilled a hole in the side so I could activate it with uh, my pinky and that does solid slow blink fast blink it would be nice if it was actually wired to the switches but I don't know how to do that and I don't have time to teach myself right now so that harbor freight light inside the cyclotron is not bright at all Unless we turn off the lights. That will be okay for outside trick or treat. And then let's fire this baby up. Turn off the lights for this too. All right, we'll do it with the lights on first. Giddy up. Solid. Slow blink. Fast blink. Now lights off, cause you look better in the bar, baby. Solid, slow blinky, fast blink. It's gonna look good in the driveway, maybe. Unless my LED lights blow it out. Trick or treats tomorrow. I had a night to make something. It was a toss up between a ghost trap 
and a sign and a ghost trap won't do me any good but a sign i could hang on the wall afterwards so sign <laughs>